Dude, that thing is big. And she was like, right off the trail. Like, right off the trail. I'm in a freaking oven right now. It's rugged. Whew. Okay, I'm on the Blue Blaze side trail that leads to Calf Mountain Shelter. This is only maybe seven and a half miles from where we got back on trail in Waynesboro, but the next shelter isn't for, I think, 20 miles. So I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm gonna do. If this is gonna be home for the night, or if I'm gonna to try to stealth somewhere in between. Problem is, like I mentioned earlier, that water sources are kind of few and far between for this section. So, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Looks like this shelter is gonna be home for the night. Also looks like it's gonna rain soon. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up now. All right, getting a late start. It's about quarter to seven. <clears throat> and I'm on the blue blaze, leaving the shelter. Maybe I'll go see some bears today. We'll see. Uh, so like I was saying yesterday, Hitting a section of trail where the water sources are uh, few and far between. For instance, I just had to uh, fill up three liters of water because I'm not going to see any water for 12 miles now. So, got to carry water, especially when you're up in like, you know, 85 to 100 degree heat, which uh, it's going to get really hot again today. So, whew. All right, let's see if we can find some bears. So, <clears throat> Shenandoah is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm hoping to see some bears. Um, one thing that gets kind of frustrating sometimes with Shenandoah is that Skyline Drive um, runs all through Shenandoah and they're absolutely amazing and majestic views. Um, what kind of sucks and one of the downsides to the AT through Shenandoah is that it skirts Skyline Drive for the entire way. It skirts it. but we don't get any views on the AT. We're lucky if we get maybe two views a day. Whereas if I was walking down Skyline Drive, I'd be seeing views like the entire way. So, kind of sucks we're not getting those amazing views. But still, it's beautiful trail. And uh, it's well maintained. And it's not very difficult. It's pretty easy. Uh, the biggest thing that gets you now is Summertime, it's the heat. Seven miles in and it is break time. And I'm kind of dragging, but this is Mio Energy with caffeine, man. Stuff gets me going. 
Helps me get them miles in. Just saw a massive bear right down here. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. I think he went over that way. There you go, bear. Hey, bear. Hot class lunchtime. Look at this. We got some bumblebee chicken salad, aka fancy feast. We got some like probably week and a half old Mikasa wheat tortillas that F word gave to me. And then I'm going to top it off with some toasty, that's right, toasty sandwich crackers, real peanut butter. And then finish everything off with some partially melted Kit Kats. And yes, I will be licking the wrappers. my third bear today uh, just came up to Dundo picnic area I saw the butt of one running away from me earlier that was really large and then when I came up on the trailhead right over here the freaking there was one over there and then there's one right up over there bears everywhere hey bear your bear get all right so far today I've seen three bears first was a big black butt running into the woods and then I saw that little cub and then the mama up there unfortunately I had my camera set on uh, wide mode so the bears didn't look that big, but uh, it was a pretty big bear. So, I just checked the temperature and it's 90 degrees. I'm like drenched with sweat. Oh my God, so hot. Summer is here. <sighs> hey, bear. Hey, bear. Get out of here. Get out of here, bear. So sketch, man. It's like the thing walks around the corner and it's gone and you have no clue where it is or if it's gonna like, if it's waiting in the bushes run out at you seriously how does something that's like 350 pounds and massive just disappear gone completely gone it's just right there you saw it you saw the dang thing and now it's gone what the f <laughs> okay so this is my first day in Shenandoah and that's four it's four bears I've seen four count them hey bear get out of here Get out of here! Get on out of here, bear! Get! She straight grunted and ran at me. Huh? Like maybe 30 feet from me. Get, bear! That's five now. Five I've seen. Dude, there's seriously like bears everywhere here. So that's two mamas now and two cubs. And I saw a really big, I guess, male bear earlier. I don't know, I don't like, I can't tell the difference between a male and a female, but dude, that thing is big. And she was like, right off the trail, like right off the trail. And she went, huh, and like, charged a little. Scary, man, sketchy sketch. Woohoo. <laughs> so every black object I see now looks like a freaking bear. That last one was like maybe 20 feet. 30 feet off the trail, like right next to me. 
and I saw something black, kind of looked a little furry, and I was like, damn, I should probably stop walking. Sure enough, it was a bear. There, you see that? So, I am on a point three side trail uh, down to get some water. And then I'm going to look for somewhere to probably stealth camp for the night. And I'm going to try to find a spot for Birdman and Worm, too. Because I think they're about four miles behind me right now. But there's supposedly a spring down here, point three. I'm bringing my pack with me because there are bear everywhere. Point three side trail led me down to this awesome spring. Absolutely beautiful. But, ow! That spring is also Mosquito City, so I gotta get back up to the AT. Whew. What a way to start the day. All right, off to Loft Mountain Camp Store. They aren't open yet, but they have $1.75, coin operated showers, and a place for me to charge all my batteries. I'm at Loft Mountain Wayside getting ready to get a shower, taking care of some personal hygiene. Hair's getting way too long. And yes, I do carry a beard trimmer, which I use as a hair clippers. About 11 o'clock, just left Loft Mountain, uh, Loft Mountain Camp Store. And I don't know, I'm gonna try to get really far. Got a little hip pain going on and some knee pain, but eh, it'll work out. what I was talking about the other day when I said the trail skirts Skyline Drive and they get all the views and we don't if you can see over there that's Skyline Drive and you see the views they get to enjoy almost along the whole way whereas this is what I look at it's all obstructed and every once in a while I get one of those views but you know what I love it anyway So I've seen a bunch of hikers now um, walking on the AT through Shenandoah with both earbuds in, listening to music or podcasts or whatever. Um, there is no way you will ever catch me doing that. In fact, I listen to my headphones, like I listen to music like once and it was with one earbud in. Then I saw all those bears and you know, those bears may be big, you know, anywhere from like 200 to 400 freaking pounds or whatever. But they can be like ninjas, man. Like when they run from you, you don't even hear them. Like they're gone. So, I mean, imagine if you had both earbuds in. You're walking down trail. You don't see a bear and you startle it. You're not going to hear that thing coming, you know. You're not going to. I mean, that's that would be a really bad situation. So... If you plan on through hiking the AT and you're coming through Shenandoah, I highly like advise against using earbuds at all. Because bears are no joke. I still hope I see like 10 today though. 
There's a bear in a tree right there, a cub. That means mama's nearby. Hey, bear. Hey, mama bear. It's right up there on that tree. Hey, mama bear. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Get your cub and leave. Holy <laughs> shit, that thing is big. Sketch, I am so glad I looked up and saw that cub in the tree. I think she's still there. She's kind of standing the ground. I haven't heard the move, and that was a really big bear. There it goes. Hey, bear! Get out of here, bear! Get! Take your cub and go! So the mama bear just walked down the trail and jumped into the bushes off to the left. But I did not see the cub come down out of the tree. And as she walked away, she kept looking up at the cub in the tree. So I did not hear it come down. I don't know if I want to walk past because I think this cub is still in the tree over here. Okay, I think she got her cub, but that was definitely a very large bear. So you notice I'm trying to get footage for all you guys. So I'm holding my trekking pole up really high. That's the tree the cub ran up. Hey bear, get out of here. Yeah, so that'll definitely get your heart pumping. Whoo! <laughs> fun times, fun times. Make sure that thing's now behind me, creeping. So that's eight bears I've seen now. It's freaking crazy. See, that's why I was just saying that thing about the headphones. Like, you don't want to walk with headphones in. Like, the, the reason I saw that bear was because the cub jumped on the, like, jumped up on the tree and I heard it. And that made me look up. And I heard the cub. And believe it or not, but I was maybe 20 feet from that tree. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. But I was maybe 20 feet from that tree and I didn't even see the mama bear. But she was easily like 300 pounds. That's a big ass bear. And that can happen anywhere along here. What if I would have walked up right next to a big ass mama bear with a cub up in the tree right there? That could have been trouble. So right after I got my bear line thrown, a uh, thunderstorm rolled in. Thunder, lightning, and all kinds of rain. And it's pouring. Yay! Got here just in time. High top mountain, camping up here tonight. <laughs>